first of all, it would have to be a voluntary situation, I'm not talking chain gangs here. Uh, these would be people who would be willing uh, to be vetted, to have the prisons examine their discipline record, examine and make an analysis as to their safety being out in the community. Uh, but I, I do think it's better for the prisoner and it's better for the community that if they're out there in the neighborhoods uh, restoring the neighborhood that they, that, they, that they damaged through their crimes. Uh, there's a lot of nonviolent people who are in these prisons who could be working side by side with our people in Parks Rec, uh, in Streets Department, cleaning lots, cleaning alleys, helping Fairmount Park, working in some of our neighborhood parks, uh, and, and having some worthwhile work that gives them um, some dignity uh, and it shows them that when they come back to our community uh, they have worth and they can do something that's good as opposed to being involved in bad things. Uh, and I think that uh, our workers, I hope, would want to be side by side with young men and women who are our citizens, who are their cousins and brothers and brother-in-laws and guys from the neighborhood, that they can help uh, to reform themselves and to show that good, honest work is something that they're, cap they're capable of, while at the same time providing the neighborhoods with extra hands and feet to help make the neighborhoods better. I'm sure we can find either city money or foundation money to pay somebody $10 an hour. It's not like, it's not like we're paying their benefits now, we're paying their health and welfare benefits now by having them incarcerated, uh, paying them $10 an hour to clear brush and to, uh, to help trim trees and bushes and pick up trash, I don't think is necessarily an exorbitant amount of money. And it puts some money into their accounts and shows them that if they go out and work a decent day's work, they get paid for it. Uh, and I do think it's good to see uh, our own workers kind of mentoring them and showing them what they can be when they get out of prison. So you wouldn't do this to displace any existing No. No, it's no, this would be extra it would be extra folks. And I would hope that our city workers would want to have the opportunity to help um, person people who are from our community uh, get right and get right with themselves and right with the community. Uh, and I think that, I mean, I hope that's the case. We'll, we'll have the discussion when we have the hearing about what opportunities exist. But I think that these are, all, these are all our people, men and women, who are coming back to our communities. We want to have them have a right attitude and a right hope that something in the future is better than what they've come from.